You need six hours. And we got to talk about nudity with a daughter. So it's like, we're the Swedish style or German. Like, we're naked all the time. Me too. And by the way, I was like that, not with my mom, but my dad. He my was dad always, nude. always nude. And always took showers with him. There was no, it was just no, the no evacuation, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. showering was fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you're quite comfortable nude. Totally. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button. It's free, right? It's free. Let's talk about both Tori Spelling and Bradley Cooper. They both reveal some disturbing things. But first, we're going to start off with Bradley Cooper. Now, Bradley Cooper, the A-list actor, he's best known for A Star Was Born and The Hangover, The Avengers, a lot of movies. Well, he claimed that his father always was nude around the house when he was growing up and he said listen he said he always showered with his dad he revealed that he is totally comfortable walking around his house in his birthday suit since his dad was always nude his dad did the same exact thing dad was always nude they showered together always I don't know about you guys, but this is disturbing to me. I find that very disturbing. And now he's doing the same thing with his six-year-old daughter. He said his daughter be in the tub, the bathtub, and he'd be on the toilet. And they'll just be talking. That's their go-to. Daughter be in the bathtub, and he's on the toilet. A grown man on the toilet while his daughter is in the bathtub, and that's normal. Oh, and get this, he said his bedroom, the bathtub, the toilet, and the bed are all in the same room. Why? Why? He said there are no doors. The stairs go up, and it's all on one floor. Why? This guy is a millionaire. He's an A-list. Grown man who likes to be naked. Who always naked? He's always naked with a six-year-old daughter. And he could buy any homes. Instead, he lives in a place where there's no door. Everything is in the open. Everything is open in one room. Bathroom, bed, tub, everything in one room. And this is okay. This is okay. Oh, and there's more. This guy, on the same podcast, he admitted, he admitted that he did not love his daughter until she was eight months old. Did you hear me? <laughs> Let me repeat that. This creep admitted he wanted us to know that he did not love his eight months, well, he did not love his daughter until she was eight months old. He explained that during the first few months of Leah's life as the daughter, he did not understand when fellow parents would say, I would die in a second for my kid. My goodness. He says, it's dope. It's cool. I'm watching this thing morph. Oh my gosh. He called his daughter a thing. Love taking care of it. But would I die if someone came in with a gun? Wow. He called his daughter a thing and he called his daughter an it. My gosh. And now, all of a sudden, he loves her. He would not have died for his daughter. Wow, wow, wow. This guy is a sociopath. Let me tell you, this is what I see when I look at this guy. This guy gives me the creeps. Honestly, like honestly, when I see him, I see someone who is hiding or trying to hide their darkness. Like he seems very angry. He seems like a psychopath. I don't know why. Maybe his eyes, his eyes are crazy. He got those crazy eyes. I don't know. He just seemed like a creep. He looks like a creep with anger. He got anger issues. That's what I see when I see him, okay? But let's keep it moving. So there's a reason why there's a disconnect with him and his daughter. It's because I don't know if you guys know about SRA. If you don't know, look it up, Google it. SRA is deep in Hollywood. And most of these celebrities come from SRA. So, of course, if they come from SRA, their kids will also come from SRA a lot of times. So that's why a lot of times they are they, they are disconnected with their kids. And you could see it. You could see it. I don't know if I can say a lot on here. Okay? That's why, too, they have breeders. They have breeder programming. Right? <sighs> okay, you know what? I don't know how much I can say. But if you guys want to know more about these things, let me know. 
because <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. I've studied these things, okay? So um, back to what I was saying. So that's why you see sometimes you see these Hollywood kids and their parents, They there's a disconnect. Like if you look at Kim, Kim Kardashian, I remember when I saw her with North, I don't know how old North was, but she was young. And there was a disconnect between them. And I think Kim was trying to do a video uh, for, I don't know, Instagram, or whatever was popular a few years ago. And I think North was maybe five. I'm not sure. But she was young. And just there was a disconnect between them. Kim didn't even look like the mother. Kim, you, you know how when you when you your, the parent leave their kid with you and you are trying to like see what they want to do like oh, okay so um what do you want to do like like that it was just like it didn't there was no mother and daughter even now if you look at them if you see her interact with the kids it's just off it's off even with Beyonce. I remember seeing a picture of Beyonce and Blue Ivy. I'm not sure how old she was, but she probably was three, four, maybe five years old. And there's a picture of, you know how Beyonce used to hide Blue Ivy's face? So there's a picture where you see the the back of Blue Ivy, right, from the back. And Beyonce's, you know, from the back. And they were sitting at a step, maybe like a little house, you know, and then you just see like trees, you see like the grass, and you just see the back of them, right? And even in the picture, like, you could, like, it just, it didn't look like a mother and daughter. I know it sounds strange, but even in the picture, you could see there's like a disconnect, even from the back. I cannot explain it, but you have to see it, okay? You have to see it, and you have to know these things, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so a lot of these celebrities, they are not connected. They are not connected with their kids, and you could see it. And I believe it's because the things that they had to go through, they're still going through, like the electroshock, a lot of things they they go through, for, like to create trauma, to keep them in line. So their kids are going through it too. You understand? It's it's part of the occult that they are in. It's the cult that they're in is the system, right? So, um, but yeah, let's move on from that. If you guys would like to know more, um, or if you guys know about these things, let me know, you know, leave a comment, let me know, you know, because not everyone is asleep. People, you know, people know things. So yeah, that's that. So back to Bradley Cooper. There's been a lot of whispers that he's, you know, on the low, if you know what I mean. This guy did it, a lot of women, just to hush the whispers, and it's not working. It's not working, Bradley. You know some men, when they want to throw you off, when they want to hide something, they want to come off as ladies' men, they want to be with a lot of women just so people could think, like, oh, yeah, he loves women. No. And also, when they have 10 kids by 10 different women, yeah, it's like they're hiding something. They're trying to cover something, and you know what that is. So Bradley Cooper been with a lot of women in Hollywood, and I'm talking about some don't, don't make no sense. He dated them for a few months, and then that's it, poof, next poof next poof next you know his longest i think is was his ex-wife they divorced after two years two years everybody else it was just like three months three months he would just date them for three months three months next 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 i mean come on bradley stop playing games i mean cut it out we know we see right through it okay and these women i mean listen i believe i think these women know what it is i think they are beards and they know what it is okay so they're helping him cover his bs too Okay, because they're being seen with him. So that's like, you know, publicity for them too. So that's what it is. So he dated actress Jennifer Esposito. Now, I think she is pretty. Like she has a unique face. I find beauty in unique looking people. Okay. Jennifer Esposito is pretty to me. Okay, so he, they hooked up, right? They were together, right? It moved so fast, right? Typical. You know, that's what they do to these, these, these mm -hmm, men. Yeah, so... They were engaged after a few months, right? And they got married quickly. Let me tell you, they married December 2006, or was it January 07, whichever. And guess what? A few months later, by May 07, they were divorced. She filed for divorce. 
So fast forward to 2014, years, years later, she, you know, she wrote a book and she didn't mention his name in the book, but she mentioned about being with a man who was mean, cold, you know, had a cold side and personality that could flip on a dime. Okay, so you see what I was saying? Remember I said that this guy looked like a creep. He looks like he has anger issues. So I was right. I was right. She said the relationship was about him and what he needed and nothing else. She said I was a non-issue. I became sidelined from my life, my needs, my health. I became very sad and I felt very alone, but I stayed in the relationship. That was Bradley Cooper she was talking about. Okay, I was right. This guy is a sociopath. She, he, like I said, he, I don't know, he's like, mm. okay, let's move on. He dated Cameron Diaz. This Cameron Diaz has been with everybody. She even dated P. Diddy. Diddy. Cameron Diaz. Ugh, she, have you seen her with her makeup? Oh my gosh. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. He dated Renee Zellweger. He also dated Olivia Wilde. Now, I think she's pretty sometimes, sometimes. And sometimes she looks, again, she has a unique look. And sometimes she looks pretty. But a lot of times, oh my gosh, she can look like an alien. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh. Let's keep going. <laughs> she also, I said she, he also was seen with Jennifer Lopez. So this guy, you know, always want to be seen with these women. You know, and they know what it is. I really believe these women know that this guy Bradley is, you know what. And they just like, F it. Let me just, you know, let me get some of the spotlight with him. Yeah, so Jennifer Lopez, of course, right? Of course. <laughs> Who else? So that's what I'm saying. All these, like, he'll be seen with these women. He'll go to events with them and everything. And then... Three months later, two or three months later, you'll see him with somebody else. Another is crazy. Okay. He also dated the beautiful Zoe Zaldana. Okay. Oh, psh, listen, listen. You know what it is. This is all, this is all fake. Fake relationships. Okay. With Bradley Cooper. And who else? Just a lot. A lot. He also dated some lady named Suki Waterhouse. And he also dated his ex-wife, Irina Shake. Irina, Irina Shake. Yeah, he was with her. Well, they divorced after two years of marriage. Okay? And that's the one he has the daughter with. Okay? And she she knows all his little secrets. Come on. Right? Oh, let me tell you who else he dated, right? I almost forgot. He dated Uma. Albedine, or is it Yuma? Huma or Huma Albedine? This lady's a monster. This lady is Hillary Clinton's aide. That's the same lady who was caught when she went to Haiti. She was caught trying to take some Haitian kids with her on the plane. That lady, Huma Albedine. Yeah, that monster. She's Hillary Clinton's aide, Hillary Clinton's advisor, and she was married to ex-politician Anthony Weiner. He had to resign from Congress because there were three scandals, three scandals of him sexting young women, 15-year-olds, okay? He had to resign because of that. Another scandal, he was uh, caught sexting a 15-year-old, and he was in the bed with his son, his little son, his baby son at the time, a baby. And then he took a picture of his crotch to send to the 15-year-old while his son is in the bed with him, okay? So yeah, these are freaks. And she didn't even, she didn't even divorce him. She still stayed with him. Then she had to divorce him because they were going to start digging into her past, and she don't want that, right? So she divorced him. She's what? She's from Saudi Arabia. Her dad is Indian and her mother is Pakistani. So this monster, Yuma Abedin, divorced. She divorced Anthony Weiner. It didn't look good for her image. The same B that went to Haiti during the earthquake, right? It was caught taking kids, okay? But this, 
And then the wiener scanned. Listen, you know what they say. Birds of a feather flock together, right? So Bradley Cooper was dating this lady for two months. Two damn months in 2022. Oh, and guess who she's dating now? She's with George Soros' son, Alex Soros. They all under the same umbrella. Pretty much. Behind the scenes, it's like, there's no this and this and that. They, no, they're all the same. But yeah, Bradley Cooper is disgusting. The fact that he lives in a place where there are no doors, no privacy, and he's with his daughter is disgusting, is disturbing. You even had a psychiatric psychologist come out and calling him out, saying, no, this is wrong, this is disgusting. You know, the fact that the way he's living with his daughter and then he's a, he's a, he's admitting his dad and him used to shower together and his dad used to be around the house naked and even he Bradley Cooper is in his house naked too and his daughter is in the bathtub while he's in the on the toilet this is bad this is bad not even trying to hide it anymore like they're just putting it out there so you imagine the things they're not saying you imagine the things that they are leaving out you know what I mean oh my gosh let's move on Okay, so Tori Spelling is another attention-seeking whore. She has a podcast as well. She recounts a story about how she had to use the potty back in the day while she was driving on the freeway in Los Angeles. Her son was young. He was still in diapers. She had some diapers on hand. There was traffic. So she says, so I literally reached back in my Tory Poppins bag. And I'm like, please, God, something. And I went through it. And I'm like, aha, a diaper. And I literally put on a diaper and pissed in my pants and Bo's diaper. Oh, my gosh. This oversharing have got to stop. It have got to stop. I mean, you know what? No. No, keep it up. We want to know more. Tell us more so we can talk about it. We can drag you guys because a lot of you guys need to be dragged. Actually, a lot of you guys need to be locked up. Lock the F up because you guys are corrupt. You guys are sick. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Question. Is it okay to shower with your kid? And if so, at what age do you put a stop to it? And... Is it okay to be in your house naked around your kids every single day? Oh, and one more. Is it okay to live in a house where you have a kid and there are no doors, no nothing, no privacy? Is that normal? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and please share. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.